stories that I legitimately, legitimately need to take a shot before I tell it because it's the stupidest thing that's ever happened to me, or at least it's the stupidest crash I've ever had. So, uh, drink up, baby. So, uh, everything starts, I, I wanna say 2003, something like that. I'm 17 years old. It's the morning, it's a fucking incredible day. I feel optimistic, I'm gonna have the best day of my life. And do you guys know why? Do you fucking know why? Because I'm about to become a free man. That's right, at 17 I had a girlfriend. And I was sick and tired of that. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not gonna fucking put up with their bullshit anymore. I'm not gonna just hold hands anymore. That's not gonna be me. I'm a badass. I'm a grown man. I'm gonna go out there and get all the chicks that will absolutely never, never, ever pay attention to me. But that's my mentality. It's the morning. It's the beginning of a day. It's Friday. I'm fucking ready to go to school and do this. So, in the morning, immediately, of course, I go and get in my car. Beautiful. Let me just do a parenthesis here. This is my beautiful Jetta. And of course, it's not a regular Jetta. That's for fucking losers. I got a VR6 that my mommy gave me. Absolutely. It was incredible. So, I have my Jetta VR6. I feel like I'm the shit. I get in it. I'm going to school with a mission, guys. You know exactly how it is. When you've had that, let's just say, companionship from someone one that's just not going anywhere positive and you're like fucking fed up with it. You know when you break up with someone and it just feels like the world's weight came off your shoulder? That's exactly that moment. So I'm thinking, man, I got this. I get in my car, put the fucking windows down, the sunroof up because I got that option. That's right, fucking fancy as shit. I got the sunroof open. I play my cassette because, it, again, it's 2003 or some shit like that. So yes, I have a cassette. I'll explain to you guys what it is later. <laughs> We're gonna make a video called, this is what a cassette looked like and this is what he did by Alejandro Solomon. Uh, anyways, I get in the car, I, I'm feeling it, like the air smells like the beach and I'm in Mexico City, pollution's all time high, I'm like, I don't give a fucking fuck, this is great, I'm going to school, all the swag in the world, I'm really excited, do you guys know why? Because I'm a fucking badass and the moment I see my ex-girlfriend, I'm gonna break up with her, that's what's gonna happen, right? fucking now and then. So I get to school and immediately when I parked in school I see my girlfriend and what I do is I immediately go hiding the other way around because I'm a fucking pussy. There's absolutely no other way of saying it. I was like there's no way I'm gonna do this right now. I, I want to do it at the end of the day because that's the right thing to do. Yeah right. You didn't want to fucking deal with it but that's fine. You dealt with it Alejandro. Good for you. So I, I let all day go by and now I'm nervous because at first, I was excited because I probably didn't think about it much and I had the adrenaline running. And now, I've thought about it way too much and th this is a bad choice. I don't I don't want to be alone for the rest of my life. What if no other woman wants me? Fine. So it comes the end of the day, there's no way, there's no way around it. I have to see my girlfriend. And as I say, I'm walking out, I see her and it's Friday. So she's like, hey, what's going on? What are you up to this weekend? And I, I had to break the news. I was like, ah, oh, man, it's not working out. It's not you, it's me because of you. So <laughs> this is not gonna work out for this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave. I wish you the best, what not? She took it pretty well, actually. I was very surprised about it. So she goes off, I make it all the way out. I on a sad face. You know how it is. You break up with a girl, you're thinking, I'm gonna get fucking empathy ass from other girls. By the way, no. It, it, it did not happen at all. It never happened. So if anyone thinks that that's gonna be, no, it's not gonna happen. So I'm walking outside the school and I see a friend of mine and he goes, dude, are you okay? I just heard that you broke up with your girlfriend. I'm like, yeah, I broke up with her. Dude, let's fucking celebrate. He's like, oh, I'm so glad that you're happy. Good. You know what? What are you up to this weekend? I'm like, oh, nothing, dude. I'm just gonna fucking chill. You know, I just broke up with my girlfriend. I don't really remember if I played it super sad or mega sad, but I'm pretty sure I played it. And my friend goes, do you want to come to Cuernavaca? Which is like a, a nice little place, like Palm Springs from LA. Do you want to come to Cuernavaca? I, I, you know, I have my house there and we can go chill. I'm like, oh my God, my weekend just got fucking better. You mean right now? that I just broke up with my girlfriend. That I'm, I'm driving all the way to Cuernavaca, so I'm gonna go for a good drive right now. And then we're gonna go clubbing in that place and fucking get some ass because now I'm single. Now there's no fucking anyone holding me back, apparently, that's what I thought. Let's fucking do it. So my friend leaves and I go, I'm just gonna go home, get a bag, and then I'll see you there. So I go home, fucking pack everything I can, the three thongs that I had, and I get in the car, let's go. So I'm getting in the car, I remember how excited I was. I, I remember just thinking to myself, man, it's a great time, I'm leaving right now, there's gonna be a lot of traffic, but it doesn't matter, you got the music, it's gonna be a great drive, don't worry about it. 
So I get into the street and five minutes later, I'm trying to get into the main freeway, which there's only one in Mexico, or at least there was one. I'm not entirely sure if there's only one still in the whole Mexico City area. And as I'm trying to get into the freeway, I need to make a left at the end of the street. And there's this lady next to me. She's old as fuck. She legitimately had no idea what was going on. I'm 100% sure. And I, every single time I'm trying to like inch to the left or like wait or anything, she's like blocking me. And it feels, at this point, I'm taking it fucking personal, okay? There's no fucking random lady that just doesn't know or is aware that she She's doing so much fuckery to some person. So I say, brilliant idea, Alejandro. You ready? You ready? You're gonna impress the old lady. And I swear to God, guys, this is not something that I can explain right now. I still wonder why the fuck I did what I did. So I go, I'm gonna show that lady what the fuck is up. So, you know, I got, I'm driving my car, so it's traction control off. No question about it, that's, that's happening, baby. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna accelerate from standstill, right? I'm gonna get to the light and then gonna make a sharp left turn. When I make the sharp left turn, I'm gonna slide the car and show that woman who the fuck is the boss. That, that was a real plan. And I, I accelerate with everything I got. She's on the left lane blocking me and I go and I throw my fucking car. Not only that, I, I throw my steering wheel into the left. I put the e-brake on and the car just starts going from side to side on the fucking street and I'm like, oh no, 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 I'm gonna crash here. Oh no, 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 I'm gonna crash here. Oh no, 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 I'm gonna crash here. I didn't even fucking know where I was gonna crash and then at the end of it, I'm like, okay, I got it. And I just remember just stepping on the brake really hard because I was gonna go straight into a tree like this. And I remember just slamming on the brakes and the car going, ar, ar, ar. and he didn't hit the fucking tree. But I had my hands up like this and I remember just out of nowhere, the airbags come out and they fucking, destroy my arms and hit me in the face and I was it was such a weird thing because I, I was 100% certain I didn't crash I didn't understand what was going on why was there all these white dust everywhere I'm pretty sure my dick hasn't been touched right now like I don't understand what's going on I'm looking around everywhere and it's like slow motion like in the movies when you're like, oh, yeah. like that and I'm looking around and I see all the people running from the other side because they saw me and I'm like oh Fuck. So I get out of the car. I'm still trying to understand what happened because it makes no sense for my POV that the airbags came out. So I get out of the car and I start walking around and as I'm walking around, I notice and I swear to God that there's a fucking tree branch coming out of the fucking tree like this pointing out at me. And that went into my front bumper, kind of like that. And he touched the fucking airbag sensor. Like literally was right there. He like boop, nailed it. So all the fucking airbags come out. They destroy my skin right here. They fucked up my nose more than it already is. I'm probably, I'm, I'm gonna sue myself for doing that, my past self, because my poor nose, it was so much prettier than it was. So I, I remember like noticing that and going like, fuck. And then I turn and I see all the people in slow motion running towards me like, oh, are you okay? I'm like, this is the last thing I need. And then all of a sudden, I start feeling like water, like cold water coming out of my hands. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? All of this, all of my skin was completely deleted from my hand, from my arm. It was just blood gushing out of my arms. And I was like, what the fuck? And I got really pissed off really pissed off so I fucking kicked the car the moment and I shit you not I kicked the car my nose starts bleeding my nose never bleeds I've gotten punched like straight up like BAM in the nose doesn't bleed that time it fucking bled like it was a river just gushing out I'm like great turn around and out of like all of the people that are coming, I see a cop. I see two cops coming and I'm like, oh no. Back in the day in Mexico, if you got into a car crash, the cop would say like, oh man, you destroyed something. So you're gonna have to pay and we're gonna charge you whatever. And then they, they just wanted a bribe. So I was like, oh no, I don't have any fucking cash with me. What the fuck am I gonna do? Can't move my car. The cop comes over and he goes, bro, I saw what happened to you. I'm so sorry, uh, it's nothing. So let's just move the car and let's just park you right here on the side. So him and his partner helped me. And until today, I swear to God, I have the most respect and I fucking, I love you guys, I don't remember you but thank you so much for saving me they guys backed up the car and helped me push it into a street and we, then they left and I was like thank you so much so I'm sitting there and I'm thinking fuck everything has gone wrong and now this is when everything starts to turn right like I broke up with my girlfriend I got into a car crash I'm not going to Cuernavaca anymore I'm not gonna get any cheap ass anymore like this is not gonna happen what am I gonna do and all of a sudden my fucking phone rings I'm like yep it's my boy my fucking boy that's going to Cuernavaca and he goes, hey man, where are you? And I'm like, dude, I just crashed. I'm right here. This is what's going on. And he goes, don't fucking worry about it. Send your car to the shop 
And then my cousin is right around you. I'm gonna call him and tell him to pick you up and he's coming with me and I'm like, oh my God, Cuernavaca's still on. I'm definitely getting late, I'm getting late. So I don't fucking care anymore about the car. They come pick it up, they take it to the shop. I'm like, let's fucking go. His cousin comes, picks me up. I get in the car with him in an Altima and everything was great, right? Because you're thinking, I just got in a fucking Altima to go to fucking Palm Springs, if you will, Cuernavaca. So I get in the fucking car with this dude who legitimately thinks he's fucking Michael Schumacher. And I'm not fucking playing games. He drove the whole time easily in that fucking four-cylinder Altima at at least 160 miles an hour, 150 miles an hour. That is fucking insane in Mexico in an Altima. It got to the point where I'm, I'm driving with him and I'm, I'm just thinking like, please just crash, just kill me. And we all have that fucking piece of shit brain. We all have it that you get in the car with him. He's like, I'm gonna drive by and he doesn't and it's him and he was horrible. So I'm like, you know what? I make it to Cuernavaca and I'm like, dude, what a fucking brutal day. And my friend goes, dude, just get in the pool. Don't worry about anything. The owner of the house. And I'm like, thank you. So I get all my fucking clothes off and I go and jump into the pool. And dude, my fucking arms were on fire because of the chlorine touching my all my scars and all the scar tissue and like the stuff that was bleeding. It was fucking disgusting and horrible. And that really was my weekend. That was the best day ever, and that turned into my weekend into a piece of shit weekend. And now I did not score any. And no, 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 not a single woman talked to me. So there you go. Have you guys had any fucking dumb crashes like mine? Please let me know in the comments down below because I really legitimately love reading your shit. I think your stories are better than mine. So please let me know in the comments down below. Again, my name is Alejandro, and now you know how embarrassing I am and why my wife can barely stand me.